Okay, what we're going to do in this video is teach you how to set up a variable product using WooCommerce. So as you can see, I have my new product set up uh, most of the way already. I have my title, my description, my category and tag set, and my gallery prepped. And all I need to do now is add the variations for this product. So I want to make this a variable product under product data. That's going to allow me to change aspects of the product. I want to change two things. I want to change the color of the product and I want to be able to change the size. So to do that we're going to have to create color and size as product attributes. So what I want to do with size is I want people to see it and use it for my variations and now I want to add all the possible sizes available for this t-shirt. So I'll go ahead and add my sizes and I'm going to separate each possible value with this vertical bar you see here. Okay, so we'll stop at a men's double XL. That gives me all my values for size. Now I want to add the second attribute which will change, which is color. I have a gray shirt and a black shirt. All right. Now I can set these as variations. So I'll go down to variations and what I could do is I could enter all these variations manually. Uh, let's say for example you don't have um, a black shirt in the men's small, it only has gray. Uh, you could create everything but that, but the easier way to do this for me is to link all of these variations which will automatically create all of the possible uh, combinations for this product. So I will link all of these variations And as you can see now, I have all of the possible uh, ways this product can be displayed. I have a men's small, medium, large, extra large, double XL, and gray. And then I start with my black t-shirts. So I'm going to quickly add some information here. I can tell the customer how many are in stock. Let's make this t-shirt $12.99. I won't worry about weight or anything just yet. We'll just add some quantity so we can see what that looks like on the front end. My large, let's put one large. Let's see. Yeah, extra large. And now, what you can do with the product variations, which is kind of cool, is let's say you have an extra uh, double XL t shirt. When you set the regular price for that, you could change it. Let's say you want to add $2 for an extra large. That's possible, you can do that. So, let's go back through and finish with the rest of these variations very quickly. large and extra large. Now let's say you don't sell one of these variations. Let's say you don't offer a double XL in black. You could remove that variation if you want to. So let's say I want to change. I have a couple extra larges but I don't have an extra large in black. I'm just going to remove that variation. And now I have all the possible combinations for this product. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that product. And then we can take a look at what that's going to look like from the customer's point of view on the front end. So let's go ahead and view this product. Okay, so we have my gallery of my images, I have my featured image for my product. I can choose a size and a color. And if I have my stock options set to display customers, I can show them how many are left in stock. I can show them the price. Uh, if I have extra large selected, notice or double XL selected, notice that my price changes to reflect my uh, two dollar price increase, and that black is not available in double XL because we got rid of it. So I come back down to extra large. Now my black option is available, and the customer can go ahead and add that to their cart. So product variations make it very easy for you to display different forms of the same product to the customer.